a disclaimer. I'm not the best with story times, but please bear with me because mm-hmm. it's pretty long. What's up, you two? It's your girl, the Ricky Shar B, and I'm back with another motherfucking video. Please do not mind my background. I just moved in. You see this? I'm trying to make a backdrop, right? This was my backdrop. Then I was like, I ain't got no um stuff to hold it up. So I'm like, I'm going to put it up here. I ain't know the camera's going to show all this. So just, bitch, just act like, act like it's cute. Just act like it's like that. Okay? For shizzle. So. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to put my glasses on for this one. Because I don't think y'all ready. Let me see. You don't want the nerdy look? Or do I want the... I'm back at school, by the way. Or should I take these off because the reflection? Anywho, this story time is about the roommate from hell. And I really was debating on this video because I was like, do you want to do this? Because some people might get offended. And then I was like, you know, this your YouTube channel and your life, your peeps, your fam want to know what the fuck happened. So I'm going to let them know. I'm going to let them know. So, disclaimer, if anybody gets offended, I'm sorry that you feel that way. But I'm just telling my people what's going on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Damn. This shit happened two years ago. I feel like just yesterday. Okay. So, we're going to call one roommate, roommate A. We're going to call the other roommate, roommate B. And we had another roommate, but she was like, she was a senior, so she wasn't, I won't say she wasn't fucking with her. She was just on her, you know, on her own shit. Cause she probably trying to graduate. I don't give a fuck about no underclassmen. I, I, I understand, sis. You ain't, you ain't got to talk. Get your work done. Get that degree, baby. Okay. So, like I said, this is going to be about the roommate from hell. And hold on, hold on, hold the fuck on. Y'all like my hair? Y'all like my hair? Oh, whole way trick at ready to snitch at scary and weak at bitch. My demons flooded, my APs flooded. Still with this bitch up with the stick. Okay, so I don't know if y'all can see my color. Mmm, put it in the light form. Put them in the light form. Put it in reverse, Terry. <laughs> okay, we'll wait from hell. Do I got a little boogie? No, my nose just look like that on the inside. Don't know why. So, the room wait from hell. Okay, guys, this was my um, sophomore year, so my second year of college. Um, yeah, so we move in and stuff. We all good, you know, because I told y'all I love meeting new people. I'm, I'm cool on everybody. I'm cool with everybody. So, you know, weeks going by, weeks going by. We doing good, we doing good. Now, our senior roommate... Uh, she was a little standoffish so I feel like they felt some type of way about her towards about the senior I feel like they felt some type of way towards the senior because she wasn't very social and this is not the senior not the roommate from hell let's get that clear so I feel like they're just kind of well one roommate in particular the roommate from hell I feel like she was kind of like picking on her and shit like I just thought she was picking on her just doing slick shit like she was posting shit on snapchat by the girl and i had laughed because it was funny but like i mean i ain't had no problem with the girl she she was all straight on her she ain't she was cool or whatever just ain't never speak but well, she spoke she ain't never talk so they got into their little situation and i was already feeling some type of we're gonna name roommate hey she gonna be no, roommate B gonna be roommate from hell. So we're gonna switch roommate B name to roommate from hell. Okay. So roommate from hell and senior girl had their little beef or whatever. And um Senior came up to her and was like, you know, you keep leaving these little notes and shit. I feel like you picking me on me and shit. Like, what's up? And the girl was like, No, that was towards everybody in the house and it's now blah blah. blah. I'm sitting there like, I already felt some type of way because they was picking on damn girl. Well, roommate from him in particular was picking on damn girl. So I'm like, she done came to your room. Shawty done stepped. 
and you talking about it's for everybody in the house, which I know it wasn't because I know they would be talking about her and be like, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that. But I ain't saying that because it's not my place. I don't give a fuck. I'm sitting there packing my clothes, getting ready to go back to the house with the door open so I can hear everything. If it's a fight, I can see it. If it's an argument, I hear it. So, okay. So there will be times where the door will be unlocked. There will be times where the door will be unlocked. While we'll wake up in the morning, 6 a.m. in the morning, doors unlocked. I know they all sleep, so I'm like, what the fuck the door is locked for? Um, so I would just lock it. Then those happen more frequently. So then I let the RA know because me, I don't know how people be gonna take shit. So I just be um, I don't know how to explain. I I told the RA because you know that's her job to solve any conflict not that it was conflict but to bring any issues that one had to the forefront and i didn't know how they was gonna react when me asking them to lock the door so she messaged them so then um they was like hey you messaged the ra about blah blah such and such the door and shit senior girl wasn't in this it was just these two roommate a and roommate from hell so i'm like yeah it was like they said something but it wasn't like oh no rude stuff or whatever so i'm like cool yeah, a few weeks go by. From that time we had that last conversation to them few weeks, door being unlocked, door being unlocked. I don't know where the hell they from, but it, I don't live in the best of neighborhoods. I don't live in the worst of neighborhoods, but damn, I do know when you live in neighborhoods with a lot of people who ain't got shit, they will do whatever the fuck they need to do to get your shit. So I'm like, what if somebody break in, snatch our pots and pans or something? Because, you know, we all got our own rooms. But I don't want to wake up in the morning. It's a fucking stranger sitting on the couch ready to drop my ass because y'all left the door unlocked. Feel me? So, I left um a little sticky note on the door. I left a little sticky note on the door. And it was like, please lock the door. I was like, ah, oh, that sound kind of rude, so I put a smiley face. So I put a smiley face. I come in the next day, my note on the floor ripped up. I'm like, shit, somebody's mad. But that part gonna come up later. So I'm like, okay. So I come to the kitchen one day to wash my dishes, and roommate A and roommate from hell is sitting on the floor. I call her roommate from hell because she, she about this big. She about this big. She pops off at the fucking mouth. So, um, they sit on the floor. So I said, hey, because you know, we always speak. Can't nobody say shit. So I'm like, okay, maybe they ain't hear me because they off in their own little conversation or whatever. So I'm washing my dishes, right? So about an hour or so pass, I'm cooking my food. And, um, this shit pissed me off every time. Cause I was taking a bag, but I'm like, oh, I can't let them hold me. Let let me let me buck. Let me do some. Shit. Be thugging out here. <laughs> Just land. But um roommate A and roommate B was about to go somewhere. Roommate from hell was about to go somewhere. So they walking or whatever, walking. They walking out the door. So roommate from hell. I don't remember who was standing where, but that was mighty close. Oh, roommate A. She probably know I'm talking about her. She probably don't care. Shit, I don't care. I'm just telling y'all the story. So, roommate A was walking out the door. She's like, she was. She said something slick. I'm trying to recall because when my story times, this is my first story time, I want to tell word for word verbatim. She goes something along the lines of... Oh, Keisha, I'm leaving the door unlocked or something. So, I'm upset because I'm like, oh, they was feeling some type of pressure. Because when I said, hey, they ain't speak. So, I'm like, oh, that figures they mad about the door shit. So, she was like, Keisha, I'm leaving the door unlocked. Mind you, she's standing out the door. She knew not to say it in here, like in the living room because I'm in the kitchen. You're supposed to be in the living room. Say that shit right there. 
Cause she's walking out door saying shit. Talking about, oh, Keisha, I'm about to, I'm gonna leave door unlocked. And I was like, I'm gonna lock that shit back. And then here go roommate from hell. Hey, so, hey, so, 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 roommate A is walking out the door. Mind you, I don't see what the fuck I had to say. So I'm looking like, <laughs> I'm mad. I don't care if I'm finna get jumped at this point. I'm mad. So I'm sitting there like, and I'm gonna lock that shit back. That bitch, I'm gonna lock that shit back. Uh, <laughs> I ain't say the fuck like that, but I said I'm gonna lock that shit back. So, roommate from hell, she was doing all that rah rah, that extra, like trying. She was out. I thought she was talking to me, but I guess she she claimed she was talking to the other girl. She was like, "Ooh, bitch, she told your ass trying to be funny or whatever." So they locked the door or whatever. And this was yeah that happened okay 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 that happened so um i'm in the kitchen kicking my shrimp and fry <laughs> bitch i tell y'all i was crying because when somebody pissed me off my first instinct is like to cry because like i'm crying because i can't put my motherfucking hands on you because i know either i'm gonna get expelled or i'm gonna go to motherfucking jail win or lose and i'm not saying i can beat all the bitches in the world but i'm i'm applying that motherfucking pressure so i'm crying i'm calling my mama i'm like i'll beat this bitch ass like i'm mad because um she pissed me off my mom's like calm down what happened what happened so i'm telling her, i'm telling her she was like you need to tell the ra sorry y'all she was like you need to tell the ra what happened so i told her ra so this all happened at night time so she was like, what would be a good time to message them to um bring, like, I guess the tension down? I was like, I don't know if this is as serious as I'm making it, but I just want to let you know, blah, blah. Ari was real cool about it. She was like, um, oh, shit. She was like, um, she addressed me on the stuff I did wrong. She was like, well, next time don't leave sticky notes. I understand you weren't trying to, um cause no harm but the same thing happened to me my freshman year i was leaving sticky notes telling them to lock the door and they would leave it unlocked and they would pick on me so i'm like okay my bad i'm not gonna do that no more so everybody know home everybody know home everybody know i used to go home mm, every weekend almost damn near because I, I live in statesboro my home home is an hour away in Hinesville, georgia and i'm on two shit but but yeah so, um, she said that and we, I went to sleep or whatever. So, next morning, I'm packing my bags because I ain't had no Friday classes and I didn't have a job at the time. Um, I got my first job junior year. Uh -huh. But, yeah, I didn't have a job at the time. So, I could leave Friday morning whatever time I wanted to. I don't have no car either, but my mama or my family members would come get me. So, And I have family here in States, bro. I don't think I'm just here lonely. And, um, so I'm bringing my suitcase through and they all standing right here. No, I didn't say excuse me because, damn, we just got into a confrontation. I don't want to speak because I feel like bitches is finna be petty. I don't want to be excuse me. I don't want to be excuse me. The fuck? I don't want, ooh, I should have cut my part more. I don't want to, um, say excuse me because I feel like a bitch is going to be petty when I say excuse me. So... I um go home. They even know I go home almost every weekend, y'all. YouTube family, they know I go home almost every weekend. So I'm riding the car, riding in the car. I guess the already done message them by now, let them know what's going on. Hey, we're gonna have a meeting when it's Kishara and such and such get back or whatever. So I guess they pissed about that shit. So she goes to posting on Snapchat. She thinking I didn't see her story because I didn't physically open it. But I know how to see people's snaps without, um, don't worry about it. Just know I see a snap, shorty. So her snap was like, this bitch done, um, snitched on us. And then she was like, um, I can't even fight her ass because she live an hour away talking about something and that bitch better not bring her ass back home so you telling me Keisha Andre and motherfucking Baker I better not bring my ass back home in a place I paid 34 
50 to live in for four months. Bitch, you got me all the way misconstrued. Let me let me put that right there. Misconstrued. Cause it's like, how the fuck you gonna tell me not to come home, bitch? That's a threat. So I'm like, okay, I ain't gonna say shit. My mama like don't say shit. My auntie like don't say shit. I'm like I ain't gonna say shit. So I got a message right here. Let me turn it to the side real quick. She seen I wasn't responding to her shit. She said, hey, I don't know what the fuck you got going on, but if you really had an issue with me, you could have came to me as a grown-ass woman and said some shit. Like, don't leave these sorry-ass notes and treat me as a child. If the door is unlocked, that means one of us is coming straight back. So I'm telling you this now. I don't fuck with you no more. I'm not going to say shit else to you, and we can walk around this bitch in silence. I didn't respond to that, but first of all, why the fuck you want to walk around this bitch in silence now when you just straight me, tell me, don't come the fuck back home, bitch, I want to run that fade, but I'm not going to say nothing, because again, like I said, I don't, I be telling people, I don't like to fight, that's not what I do on an everyday basis, I don't fight often, I don't remember the last time I got in a fight, but I'll be the bitch, I can't be there, bitch, now, mind you, she like this big, bitch, look at me, done took up the whole camera, look at me. And I ain't saying big bitches can't get beat up. Cause I see, not this one. <laughs> not this one. And the situation is so funny, but like, I'm like, damn, people be trying to fuck out of me. And I don't be saying nothing. And people be thinking, I'm scared. I don't do all of this. I don't. Because that's the bitches that get beat up. My track record clean. I don't get beat up, bitch. Mm-mm. I'm a, I'm a soldier. I don't get beat up. So I ain't respond to that. I'm telling my mom about it. I'm mad. I'm like, mom, what she trying to fight me? What you what you gonna do? She was like, ain't nothing I can do, but you better beat that bitch ass. You better knock her head off. My mom be saying all that crazy shit. My mom funny as hell. So we laughing or whatever. <laughs> laughing. So she said that or whatever. So I'm chilling the whole weekend. My mom like, I'm going to get you a cooler and shit since y'all can't have refrigerators. She, little refrigerators because we can't have mini fridges. She was like, I'm going to get you a um, cooler and put some ice packs in it because I don't want you keeping your shit in the refrigerator because I feel like they're going to be trying to do stuff to your food and I don't want to have to come up there. And that's why I be telling people. Not trying to bring my family in the shit, but people be thinking I'm all up in here all up here in Statesboro lonely. Bitch, I got family everywhere you turn your head. So please play. Please play. Get your ass done the fuck up. Your people live four hours away. My people down the street. Please get your ass done the fuck up. I got family everywhere you turn your motherfucking head. Let's put that right there. So I'm sitting here like, so, you know, I'm chilling with my cousins whole weekend. I'm telling them what happened. I'm telling my cousin Jade what happened. Lana and all them. You know, they buck. They ready. They ready. Shit, they can't do nothing. They on their age. They ain't got no car. Lana live in Hardsville. Kayla live in Jacksonville. Jada, they live in Atlanta. Fuck. I don't remember if I told Rachel. But Rachel, if you see this, you watching this too. And you know what you say. Bitches better hide when they hear I'm coming to town. Ho. Fuck. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So that happened or whatever. So Sunday comes. So I'm coming back. And I'm anxious. I ain't gonna cap. I was worried about it. Because I was like, these bitches might. Oh, matter of fact, roommate from hell sent that. But like I was saying, I was anxious. I was like, what if these bitches try to jump me? They're not gonna hold me. I ain't gonna back down. But what if these bitches try to jump me or do something? Bring their friends over try to jump me? Bitch, I'm fighting till the bitch kill me. Bitch, I better be six feet before I stop fighting. <laughs> but yeah, um, that happened. So I'm home, coming home. I come in the house, it's me, my grandma, my mama. They help me bring my stuff in. I'm, I'm expecting the bitches to be on the couch, roommate A. It, matter of fact, let me clear this up. Roommate A, you probably know who you are. My initial problem was with roommate A saying the slick shit. But I kind of said, forget roommate A, roommate B, my beef is with you. Because she, she had the most to say. And I'm like, I talked to her already. I ain't even really say shit about you. So why you get mad? You must feel guilty. So I'm like, roommate A, I ain't even worried about her ass. It's roommate B. 
little bit. I'm like, I'm expecting her to be on the couch, puss it up ready. So I know I'm not the problem. I knew who the fuck the problem was. A and roommate from hell. Emphasis on roommate from hell. So, um, yeah, she was talking about that rah rah. I come in the house, nobody's home. Wait, I want to say they was home because I could like hear stuff. Nobody was in the living room waiting for me to come back after they told me not to pull the fuck up. Bitches wasn't retarded. They knew to be in them rooms. So, okay, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. I'm bringing my food to my room with my cooler. Because <laughs> I'm paranoid. I'm like, these bitches gonna try to poison me. They probably wouldn't do that shit for real. But if they did, you don't ever underestimate a motherfucker. Don't ever underestimate a motherfucker. So, um... Next day, next day, next day, next day. I'm trying to avoid them. Cause like I said, I hate confrontation. But like if I'm on my if if I'm got no option, I will fight. But I'm gonna avoid confrontation as much as I can. So I'm going to class and stuff. I'll come back. I see roommate A. She seen me. I'm like, what the fuck? I swear when you think about some shit, the people just pop up out of nowhere. So, I'm sitting there. I'm like, we about to fight. I think she was trying to, like, cause a scene to scare me. I just walked up, walked right past her, went up the stairs. I don't know if they were checking me on Snapchat or what. Because I had seen roommate from hell at the bus stop. I'm playing my cards like a nigga in the hood at this point. A little wax. So, I'm coming to the house roommate from hell is sitting on the couch she looked at me think she said shit no think she put her hands on me no a bitch i gotta talk shit with her friends she not on shit at all and no offense to them these atlanta bitches because i know some of y'all is real but them bitches some bitches be thinking they tough as fuck because they from atlanta bitch i'm from 912 i'm from the south Fuck. Take your bougie ass on before you get beat the fuck up. So she ain't say shit to me. I'm walking through the house. House she told me not to come back to. House I pay rent in. She ain't saying shit. So I'm like, okay, okay, okay. So I go um get my food out the um neck hurt out the refrigerator freezer that I'm eating. I ain't come out my room that whole time because I had all my food and shit. I ain't had no reason to come out. But, like, okay. So, that's when, um, all that happened. And, um, okay, now we're going to go to the meeting. So, um, we get to the meeting. The meeting was in our living room. R.A. came. So, me and Senior was there. They came, like, 10 minutes late. So, R.A. already pissed. She, like... You know, because she gave us a time like a week in advance or a few days in advance. They was like five minutes, ten minutes late. Finally sit down. She said what she had to say. She was like, okay, I just want to see what's going on and why that even happened. Like why it even had to go there or whatever. So, I'm saying, she, I'm like, I'm going to start off. I'm like, okay, well, roommate from hell. Uh, I said, roommate from hell. I was really talking about roommate A. But you started trying to put your two cents in, and I wasn't even focused on roommate A no more. I was focused on you. And I was like, how you expect somebody to come to you as a grown-ass woman? I was like, excuse me, how you expect somebody to come to you as a grown-ass woman? And you acting like a fucking kid. I didn't say fucking kid, but I said you acting like a kid. She was like, that's just... She was, she was not on the shit she was on weeks ago, a week ago. She was like, oh, that's just how I talk to people. I don't mean to offend nobody. Yes, the fuck you did, bitch, because you threatened me. So, um, I'm like, okay. And so, the RA was like, I just don't understand why I had to go this far. Like, if she asked y'all to lock the door, just keep the door locked. I already told y'all about it. And she was like, I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm just getting on y'all because I already talked to her about what she did wrong, which she did. So, she was really just saying her shit, her peace with them. So, I forgot what happened. She said something. And, um roommate from hell was like see i thought we was cool we was eating pizza wings watching empire i'm sitting there like 
Well, shit, it wasn't much of a privilege because, shit, I put my money in on it, too. The fuck? Don't make it seem like I was eating off you because, baby, if I needed some shit, I had family I could have asked. So, if she's saying all that, I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Roommate senior, she over there just chilling. I think she had fucking music. She chill as fuck. She don't be giving a fuck. She, but she was just like, she don't be thinking to lock the door either, knowing she gonna come right back. I was like, there's no problem with that. But they don't come right back. I was like, I heard somebody at the door at 6 o'clock in the morning. Couldn't get it locked. I, that shit woke me up. So I got up, see if it was locked. I seen one of y'all going down the stairs. I was like, y'all did not lock that shit. Didn't call nobody to lock that shit. But I'm just telling them. And they was like, yeah. And, um, oh, they started trying to bring up old shit that we had already talked about. Okay, because one time I was in the shower and Papa John's bought my wings. How hard is it to... Mm. okay this part was my fault but it really wasn't nothing i ain't get it because i thought i was gonna be out the shower because they'd be like we're coming at a certain time so i was ready well i thought i was gonna be ready so i was paying in cash and um the man had when i said they was like hey did you order some wings or something i was like yeah such such blah 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 he's like oh he just left i was like oh shit go get him this money they was like, yeah, you don't be ready. They was like, like be at the door when um I'm looking at my part. I need to do something with it. They was like, yeah, be at the door when your food comes. You need to be ready and your dishes be in the sink and this and that, blah, blah. Okay, I, I get that, but we talked about that before and that's not what the fuck the meeting is about. I took my fault on that shit. So what the fuck is you talking about? And I was like, and for you, I seen that shit you was posting on Snapchat talking about some don't come back home. I got the whole recording of the meet and I was like, cause and don't try and sue me because um in Georgia it's a one party law. If I'm in it, I can record what the fuck I wanna record. I was like, How you gonna tell me not to come home to a place I pay rent? And I was like, You wonder why nobody don't come to you as a woman? I was like, I seen that. I was like, I seen that shit you posted on Snapchat. How you gonna tell me not to come home? I pay rent, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And, um, all right, it was like, I was like, yeah, she was threatening me, calling me a bitch, calling me on my name, which people, it don't bother me when people call me a bitch, but for some reason this shit bothered me because cause I'm not your bitch. I got your bitch, though, if you want me to have it. But, um, yeah, all right, it was like, that's unacceptable. Uh, I was like, I could have went to the excuse me so i was like don't let it happen again Ari is like our age now mind you I'm trying to think yeah we was all sophomores and senior was senior Ari was like damn what is Ari? i think Ari graduated last year hell anyway it don't even fucking matter I was like, just don't let it happen again. Because if it happened again, it, it goes above my pay raise. That's exactly what the fuck she said. It goes above my pay level or something. And I'm going to have to escalate to the big boss. And you know. I swear it'd be sorry. Somebody trying to come to my room. But she was like, you're not going to like it. So, I walked out. She was like, and they was like, well, that went, um well or something i'm sitting there like i'm smirking because like i said i don't like confrontation but bitches is not applying pressure like that for real like if you're gonna threaten me as soon as i walk through don't want you to hit me hit hit me i'm gonna show you how south side do it for real hit me but yeah guys that is the end of my story time make sure you all like comment and subscribe share this video with your mama your daddy your pets facebook twitter instagram snap tinder don't be using my picture for tinder bitch because i'm cute y'all need a tinder picture let me see y'all need a background picture mm-mm but yeah, y'all. How'd y'all like that story time? Is something similar like this happen to you?
comment down below. Let me know what the, what the fuck that bitch did, girl. What that nigga did, boy. What they do. What he do. But yeah, more of the story. Sorry, y'all. More of the story. The bitch bully you. The camera tilted, but y'all gonna have to deal with it. More of the story, yeah. A bitch bully you. Let her talk. Let her talk. Don't let her beat your ass, though. Hey, I feel like if we got a, would have gotten a fight, I would have beat everybody's ass. That's how I feel about it. But like I said, I don't got no hard feelings towards nobody. I'm just saying how I feel. I'm sure they don't give a fuck that I made this video. Please don't take offense to it because that's not the video purpose of the video. But like I said. All right, YouTube, comment some shit down below y'all want to see. I'm working on a funny-ass video. I just not have not. I'm just looking. God, I tried to relay my lace, y'all. You can kind of see it, but it don't matter. Because, look. I'm working on a funny-ass video. I ain't been motivated to edit it, especially with this first week of school, but... I'm going to be consistent with my YouTube. I'm not going to be like last time. I got to make the shit pop. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. Please share. And, um, yeah. Um, stay prayed up. Stay blessed. Um, uh, y'all, I don't know why my neck like that. It got, like, it was like a symbol was engraved into my neck. Like, this is all dark and then this is light. Don't even fucking matter. Make sure you say prayed up, saved up. And make sure if you're talking that shit. Make sure if you're talking that shit. You applying that pressure. <sighs> if anybody is offended by this video. I'm sorry that you feel that way. I mean, I'm just doing a video for my YouTube channel. Because I know some people get in their feelings, so. Shit. Here go y'all little apology or whatever. But that's what the fuck happened. And I hope y'all enjoyed my shit. And.